Okay, I want to take a moment to just go on about hula hoop. Now, I know this is like a craze from back in the 60s or 50s, but anyway, when I was growing up, my grandma always had hula hoops in the cellar, and of course we all had varying degrees of success when we used hula hoops, but, and I wasn't one of the success stories, but it was a good memory. And so I saw this in the Stoller store a couple weeks ago, and I was just like, I'm gonna get this hula hoop, just for the fun of it. Remember my youth, and, you know, oh, it works in the grass. Now, I am not good at doing the hula, but I will give it a try. And I can always try using some slow motion to make me look better than I am. But we'll go ahead and give it a shot. So we will. Mm -hmm. ah, pretty awful. Ah. <laughs> like a slow motion. Ah, I probably do it wrong. I know some people can do it on their neck. Don't count on that. I can't even do it on my waist, let alone my neck. I'm glad I could do these vlogs today because it's such a nice day. Alright, I think we got enough footage of that. You know, you could jump rope with these. You could use these loops to jump rope. I was just trying it. It actually is not that hard. So, no. Whoop. So, oh. so yeah, this is not that bad. Okay, get your hula hoop and go get your own hula hoop and try to and skip rope with your own hula hoop. Okay, now here's my good my my thing I'm good at is making it return. You just have to spin it, you throw it, and flick your wrist back. You flick your wrist back. You know, I hope this comes with camera like that. Okay, you just you. Throw it, throw it, but you flick your wrist backwards. Whoa. See, I'm good at that. I am good at you throw, throw but pull backwards. I think I'm very good at returning them. Okay, I guess that's about enough for now. So, get your own hula hoop, probably at the dollar store, Walmart, wherever you shop, and you can start these cool exercises, and hopefully you learn how to hula better than I do. Alright, have a great day.